Excuses, lies, and toxic politics, all issues that Governor Hogan claims cost Republicans the midterms. For four years, the governor didn't mince words about his views on the Trump presidency, and we discuss what it will take to move the GOP into the future. I won't ask you about running for the presidency because I think I've heard that answer enough at this point, but my question to you is one of, of satisfaction. I feel like when you've looked towards the White House, whether it's now or the president prior, you've been unsatisfied. What would satisfy you, do you think, for someone in that office? Well, I think uh, there was a poll came out uh, today that said, uh, you know, most Americans don't, don't really approve of the uh, current president or the past president. You know, I think uh, 60 something, almost 70 percent of the people don't like Biden or Trump, and sure. they're looking for something different. Um, 75 percent of the people in Maryland do approve of the job we've done, even though they think this country's in the wrong direction. 70 percent, 70 percent of Marylanders think we're heading, our state is heading in the right direction. So, I'm very one of the things I'm proudest of is that the people in Maryland think we did a pretty good job, and after eight years and lots of challenges, you know, in a in a difficult uh, environment, uh, you know, we tried to you know, put aside the kind of toxic, angry rhetoric politics and, and uh, you know, it doesn't mean we didn't disagree sometimes, but we try not to make it uh, the personal and I think people appreciate trying to work together. Why do you think that's been so pervasive? Why when we go on Facebook or Twitter or just the town square that we don't just say, you know what, you thought that way and I thought this way and let's go have a beer and we're good with it. You know, it, that's not, that doesn't happen no, anymore. No, it's, un it is what most people want. There's sure. about 73 percent of the people in America who are so fed up with both the Republicans and the Democrats, the people on the left and the right, the kind of the angriest, loudest voices get all the attention, no but most Americans are fed up with it. Yeah. And it's frustrating because our, our you know, social media and the politics and the way it works is people are rewarded for being more contra con uh, controversial and confrontational, and they kind of tend to ignore competence and bipartisanship, <laughs> which is really kind of important to get sure. things done. You mentioned the extremes. I'm curious about Citizen Hogan. When you look back and you're going to try, it sounds like you want to evolve the GOP a bit. Uh, talk about unsatisfaction. Um, what are some things that are dissatisfaction? What are some things that you want to do or see differently within your party? Well, you know, what we've been able to do in Maryland was, um, you know, I was focused on re Republican economic issues. I said, we want to we want to cut taxes. I got the, a Democratic legislature to cut taxes eight years in a row by four point eight billion. I, we turned a five billion dollar deficit into a five billion dollar surplus. We went from 49th out of 50 states in economic performance to number six biggest economic turnaround in America. We, we wanted to get tough on violent criminals. We wanted to invest more and give more options and choices for our kids and their education. Those are all, you know, Republican things, but they're really popular yeah. with independents and, and Democrats. Uh, but what is not popular is kind of uh, focusing on d divisive social issues or yelling at each other or calling each other names. And so I'd like to see the Republican Party get back to its roots okay. and be a bigger uh, tent that's more inclusive, that has a more hopeful, positive vision for America. And, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, we saw that all across the country this year where if there were Republicans kind of from my lane that are, you know, from the Republican wing of the Republican <laughs> Party or uh, common sense conservatives uh, that, that focused on issues, they mostly won even in competitive suburban districts, swing districts. But when, when they were, you know, very you know, far right uh, candidates that kept looking back and arguing about, you know, 2020 or talking about other, you know, uh, kind of conspiracy things, they all lost everywhere. And so... If we want to compete, we're going to have to, you know, get back to basics. Do you, do you leave proud? Do you leave with anything left on the table that you wish, if I just had six more days, I could take, take care of that? No, you know, I feel very content that, yeah. uh, not to say that we've fixed every issue or problem, but I think we, just, we accomplished most of what we set out to do, and I'm, I feel like the state's in better shape than when we got here. And I have a sense of, uh, of you know, like we left it all on the field. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I worked as hard as I could. We had a great team. Uh, you know, I can tell you we were dedicated to trying to do everything we could to help the state and I, f I feel very at peace. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for the new governor to come in. I'm not, I'm not going to have my fingernails <laughs> dug into the carpets. I'm gonna... You're not going to be at the front door every day. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm going to be. Wes, I, I got some ideas. I, I might, I might, no, I told him I'm a phone call away, yeah. uh, you know, whenever he needs me, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be interfering in, the, yeah. in the, his, his future. What does a uh, relaxation look like? What does, what I don't know. My wife, my do? wife said I need a vacation. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not too good at that and haven't done them very often, but I think she's probably right. I need to take some time. Yeah. Is it <laughs> odd to be in this room to know as we sit here, we look at all these former governors that, that a portrait's going to be up soon of you? It, it's a little weird. Yeah. I'll have to come back and look at that when they put it up, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank it's you very much. You. Yeah, it's a thank pleasure. You.